Hello, we're back again. Would you like to come inside? Yeah. So, due to the overwhelming demand for me, <laughs> <laughs> I decided to make an appearance on this week's vlog. I'm in the bathroom <laughs> because the sun sets on that side of the house. Um, so this, the rest of the house, as you can see, is getting kind of dark as we approach evening. Um, so I'm trying to catch the light. Catch your light? Our work week starts on Sunday, so we had work. We finished a bit early, actually. We went and sat and had a nice, uh, lunch. And now we're back home. Um, like, do some house stuff. Vacuum, dishes, you know, like being an adult. And then I'm gonna keep reading our beloved Ocean Bong. And yeah, I don't know. Just starting the vlog, I have no idea where we're going. So, buckle up. He's doing last floor touches. Look at my prince cleaning the house. Soon this uh, water is gonna be wine. I am just sat here. I'm gonna read some of our Ocean Vong. On Earth we're briefly gorgeous. Uh, I've got my pencil ready to underline, I'm ready to dog ear, I'm ready to split my heart into a thousand pieces, I'm ready to love it. We're gonna have pasta for dinner, so I will also get started on that in a bit. And if you wanna really know what the inside of my brain is like right now, I'm trying to figure out what font I want to use for these vlogs. Like if I want to put titles on the screen ever or something, I'm struggling with a font, what font to use. Um, that's the minutia of my thoughts. Gives me like 70s vibes, um, so that can also be nice. This is also nice, very like French bistro, like what is the soup of the day kind of font. I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine now because I don't work tomorrow until 3.30. Oh, one more thing I wanted to share. I'm struggling with Jalen's tag, the bar in the bookcase tag. Love the tag, love the whole idea. I love booze, I love books, perfect combination for me. However, I'm struggling with finding um, books to fit the categories. Like historical fiction recommendation, I don't have one. Love Triangle, for example, also never had that opportunity in a book before. So I'm very much wanting to take part in this tag, but I just am struggling with answers. I thought maybe like, to pick the categories that I do have books that fit, and then in the categories that I don't have a book for, I could make it like a TBR pick, like something that I would like to read that m maybe fits that category, but I don't know. I feel like it's just cheating, but I wanna drink and talk about books, so I wanna do this tag, but I'm having a hard time. Jalen, you need to help me. Love that sound. So before I cook dinner <laughs> and you go back to reading, um, I wanted you to talk about what you're reading also. I mean, I, I also uh, suggested um, to take over Ben's vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading James Baldwin, which was 
um, recommendation from a friend, Mai, who was also on the vlog, actually. Mm -hmm. And she actually, she recommended it to me after I had read a book by uh, Edouard Louis. Mm -hmm. He's um, a queer author, right? Yes. Um, French. French, yes. Young, uh, gay, um, French author who like wrote his first book I think like when he was 21 so and I and I told her that I never felt so much uh, identified with a character in a book um, and maybe it's because he's gay and like I don't very often read um, a gay male perspective mm -hmm. Um, sorry, my arm. And then my, uh, of course, brought up James Baldwin and in Giovanni's room, which I couldn't find in Hebrew. Also, um, I'm reading it. I'm reading it translated to Hebrew, so I'm probably not experiencing the, not getting the full James Baldwin experience. So this one's called Another Country. Yes, Another Country, and it's amazing. It's, it started really difficult. Difficult um, how? Not difficult to read, but just... Subject matter? Yes, like, I was kind of... I was very much expecting, like, maybe, like, the gay perspective, and it really very much starts with a black perspective, mm -hmm. um, which also kind of caught me by surprise, and because it's just so powerful and so relatable even though i'm not black or or straight but he somehow manages to i don't know i think he touches the like very like the insecurities of each character in a really like deep way mm -hmm. that makes it very relatable and and yeah, then there there are just so many characters that are so that I like love so much. <laughs> yeah, that's so nice when you like. And I like miss you want them to know from time to time. Yeah, I miss them. That's so that's so sweet and so nice. I have like the third. It's divided to three books inside the the novel. It's one novel, um, and now I'm like finishing the second book. Yeah. I probably will have more clear thoughts when once, you finish the yes. whole thing. But you're enjoying because also the the plot has many twists. Yeah, is and it surprises. like uh, yeah, yeah? Not like telenovela surprises, <laughs> but the characters manages manage to to surprise you mm -hmm. um, and be very very interesting and complex. Like, also like to have that many characters that are almost like equally um, hold weight, and hold story. weight, and are developed mm. and surprise you. That's nice. It's your first James Baldwin. Yes, I've also never read James Baldwin. I I read one short short. I think maybe it's even like an essay called Dark Days. I think it's an essay like that I gave to my but I've never read any of his fiction. Mm. Show the book cover. Oh my God. Also, we really don't like this book cover. <laughs> I... No, I mean, I think like as an art piece, I mean, it's a painting. I don't know, it just looks like to, it just shouldn't be a book cover. It doesn't work for you. Yeah. Could do better. Could do better, totally. Yeah, we want to also make a video about, which I think I either mentioned this already or not, but we wanted to make a video kind of compiling books that we've read from queer authors and talk about them and why we love them. So yeah, that'll also be fun. Yes. I mean, I, I already mentioned Edouard Louis, like... Uh, mm -hmm. But you can talk about each book and like what you like about it and stuff. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna make dinner now. <laughs> Ow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow.
I'm gonna give a little salt. Okay, a lot of pepper. <laughs> Seriously, chef table or something's gonna hire me after this vlog. <laughs> We've reached our final destination. Our final pasta destination. It's Monday. We've got a few hours before we go to work. Um, so I'm trying to think what to do and how to manage my free time. I read a little bit this morning with a coffee. It's also National Poetry Month, I guess, in the States. Um, like I saw something about it on Instagram this morning. So I thought, because poetry is actually something I, I really love, um, I thought I would do a video about like my favorite poets and collections of theirs that have really spoken to me over the years. Um, so I might film that actually. I don't know why the floor always just feels like the most natural place to <laughs> speak. Yeah, so I was editing this vlog a little bit. Also, I realized that this camera picks up on audio like so so much better than the phone of course and that's so why I feel like I'm yelling in all of the clips <laughs> so I'm gonna try to like calm my tone a little bit so maybe I'll film a video about some poetry and read a little bit more and what else she's dressed I'm going to film my video about poetry, um, but we realized it's 12.30 and we haven't eaten any breakfast, so actually we're going to prioritize that first and then I'm going to film. We're going to make a good um, avocado toast. Wow, that is a great one. Oh, hi. Very simple, everyone already knows how to do this, but if you haven't, then here we go. Eggs, in the pan, whatever style you want. Half an avocado each. Toast, smashed avocado, salt, pepper, I like a chili flake also, and then egg on top, and that's about it. And then... I'm just coming to you with a small avocado appreciation post. Wow, look at this. Also how look how big this is. I need to share with you that Ohad bought me this notebook for my birthday and it freaking says the ca cappuccino book. Are you kidding me? This is the book for my heart and look at the color of the pages. 
that's gorgeous. So I think I'm going to write all of my notes for like about what I'm reading um, in this cappuccino book. That's just perfection. Hello. I just took a shower. I'm feeling the calm evening vibes. Ohad is, um, has a performance tonight, so I got done with work early. Um, so I am here at the house by myself, which is a rare occasion. So I'm like feeling the self-care vibes. I make dinner so that it's ready when he comes home and read. Um, yeah, I'm also, I feel like I've been editing this vlog so far and I feel that I'm pushing the edges of the content of like how much content is not related to books. Um, I feel like in the beginning, like my first few vlogs, I was really just picking up the camera when I had something to say about what I was reading. And now that I feel more comfortable, I'm like filming everything, which I'm not sure is like a good thing. Um, I feel like maybe it's not interesting or um, it just like causes the vlogs to like lose direction and not really be about the book or like about reading. Um, I mean, I'm also into like a diverse, vlog um if you are so you can let me know but yeah it's just something i'm thinking about and like not sure how i feel about it yeah so you can let me know what you think about that subject so i'm gonna cook and read and oh i have something to show you i feel like there's something you need to know about me which is that i have a really weak spot for anything gummy, like gummies, gummy bears, gummy worms, gummy anything. And so these I saw in the store now, they said wine gums. I was like, wait, I love wine and I love gummies. And even though it sounds disgusting, I just like had to understand, like try to figure out what this is. Wine gummies? I mean, what the hell? That's like for me. Anyways, I'm gonna open these also later um, and give them a try. I just like thought that was hysterical. The verdict is they taste nothing like wine. I feel like they're literally like pineapple, orange, lime, strawberry gummies that have like names of wines on the front. I don't know. So not as weird as I was hoping, but still working for me. Hi, it's Wednesday evening. It's Wednesday, right? Didn't film much today. Um, just like a few clips like of books and notebooks and like that kind of stuff. I think this will probably be the one and only talking clip um, for today. But I just, we both just sat on the couch and read our books for like, how long was that? An hour? So, on Earth are Briefly Gorgeous, 
is gorgeous. I have been writing a lot of notes in this new notebook that Ohad bought me that I showed you. And I'm starting to think that maybe I'll make a whole separate review video on this instead of talking through all my thoughts inside the vlog. Because on one hand, at the particular moment when I have like 40 pages left, I feel like speechless. And I had a good cry actually for like a few minutes. Um, and yeah, I just, I feel like sort of blown away and speechless. But at the same time, like I'm writing a lot of things and I have a lot of notes. Um, about specific thoughts and like talking points so I feel like maybe I'll make a separate video and not um, talk through all of them in the vlog. Maybe I'll change my mind but I think that's what I'm thinking about. But yeah, Ocean Bong is just literally shattering me with this book. I think he's actually doing like um, a reading maybe from his new book that's coming out at some point in the future um, and in the time zone that I'm in it's gonna happen at like four in the morning and I marked it on my calendar I was like will I be that crazy one that wakes up at four in the morning just to like listen to this man talk I feel like probably yes so I'll, I, I have a feeling I might finish this tonight um, yeah so I mean, incredible. Also, this is our solution for drying a very, very, very big bed sheet. Um, and it reminds me of being a kid and like building a fort with like furniture and sheets in the living room. So please comment below if you were one of those kids that did that. Stepping up our wine game by putting our wine glasses in the freezer before we pour white or any cold wine inside. We are bringing restaurant quality to the house, baby. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Good morning. It's Thursday. I'm dressed like a farmer. I'm wearing a summer dress today because I'm feeling the vibes. Um, we are going to... Wow, hi, son. We're going to walk down the street to the coffee shop we normally go to. And yeah, just enjoy a morning. We don't go to work until the, like, the afternoon. So yeah, I'm gonna finish my book and probably start another one, which I will talk to you about a little bit later. But this dress is um, vintage, right? from Paris. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Coming back to update you on my reading. I finished On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous. Um, wow. I don't know if you can see 
how much is dog-eared here, but, and I was um, marking with my pencil certain passages, and then towards the end I just started marking like whole pages, because there's, it's just full and full and full of, I don't even know what the right word to use would be, um, just like gems. This book is a treasure chest of gems inside. And the novel is also, I, I think, slightly autobiographical for sure, um, but it's basically written in the form of a letter from a son whose name in the book is Little Dog to his mother who doesn't read English. Um, they're Vietnamese, moved, like born in Vietnam and moved to the States. Like I said, I think I'm gonna make a separate video all about this book, um, and I'm buddy reading it with Iggy, from Literary Iggy, so I wanna talk to her about it. I'm like sending her quotes all the time, um, so I wanna discuss some stuff with her and get like more of my notes together and then like dedicate a video to it, I think. But yeah, we're talking about in this book um, what it means to be an Asian immigrant in America and what it means to be queer and what it means to just live in the world when you feel like you're othered and you're in an othered group. There's a particular passage in this book that's talking about like two white men sitting at a table with little dog and these two white men are just talking about something and then they're like, yeah, like people like us and they look at each other and they acknowledge each other and then little dog is sitting there and he writes that he doesn't have anyone to look at to say people like us, like he has no one to look at and say, say that to. So it's just like that is a summary of sort of like his experience moving through the world and about language and mother tongues and Vietnamese and English and and war and how trauma is passing through generations and mental health and addiction but I enjoyed it so much I think it's probably like one of my favorite reads of the year so far, for sure. I mean, five stars. And I have a really exciting uh, thing to share, is that I received my first ARC, my first advanced reader's copy of a book from a publisher, um, and it's for second place by Rachel Cusk. I was sent this by FSG Publishing. So thank you so much, and I was encouraged by our girl Rebecca to just like send them an email send FSG an email and say like I love Rachel Cusk I would love to read second place um, if you feel generous enough to share share it with me before it's published and they kindly sent me a digital version so I could read it on my Kindle I feel like ooh, so um, giddy about like uh, having a book sent to me by a publisher it's like so cool yeah that will be my next read because I definitely want to read it before it is released so I can talk about it and um, Rebecca also just read it and raved about it um, and I have no doubt that I'm gonna love it so that's what I'm on to next I just wanted to come on here and tell all of you that I just watched Hannah's video from Let's Talk About Books Baby. She just talked about, um, she just posted a video about the Women's Prize for Fiction this year and everything that's going on with that right now, which I will just link that in the, um, in the down bar because it's such an interesting video she made, so important, so educational. I know, first of all, I don't know really about how a lot of these fiction prizes function, especially that one. Um, and the inclusion of Tori Peters, who's a trans woman writer, being included for her book, De Detransition Baby, in this year's Women's Prize, and how she got, how the Women's Prize received a letter from a group, like a TERF group, which I also didn't know what TERF is, which is Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminists. So basically, like, who believe that trans women 
are not included in feminism because they're not real women. <laughs> so basically, the Women's Prize got a letter from this kind of group about why it's dangerous that Tori Peters is included in the Women's Prize this year. And I just, there's a lot of things that Hannah's like unpacking in this um, video and I just think you should watch it. Like it's really amazing. Um, I'm just popping on here to end the vlog and wrap it up. Um, I always say this, that I feel like the vlogs are all over the place. I like always hear myself say that, but I feel like this one was particularly a little bit directionless. Um, and like, especially if I save my thoughts about the book that it was supposed to be dedicated to, if I save those thoughts for a separate video, then I feel like, what is this video? Maybe it's just my insecurity. But I have like a few ideas for reading vlogs going forward. Um, and if you have suggestions, please share. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. And I started reading Second, Cu Second Place by Rachel Cusk. Our girl, Rachel Cusk, she's such a great writer. I'm enjoying so much. So I'm really excited to keep reading that. And yeah. Like, have a great weekend. I'm gonna try to upload this tonight. Or whenever you're watching this. Like, have a great day. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.